Well, if they fail to consider Keech's life and theology, then I think that they're missing out on probably the most significant uh, theologian among Baptists in the latter half of the 17th century. Uh, they're missing out on just a wealth of information. In his life, Keech uh, published over 50 different documents, uh, some books, some sermons, uh, 222 sermons that he uh, was able to publish uh, in his life. Just a whole host of information that not only tells you about that time period, but also shows uh, just the faithfulness of his convictions to the Word of God and to, and to undertaking his responsibilities as a pastor uh, before his people. And so, so if, if, if particular Baptists today, if, 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 if Reformed Baptists today fail to acknowledge him, uh, they're, they're missing a huge uh, aspect of their past, really, because uh, Keach did leave such a significant mark uh, upon the history and upon the uh, available uh, literature and teaching for particular Baptists, Reformed Baptists, uh, uh, in his lifetime. Benjamin Keach is our part of our heritage. <clears throat> uh, he is an early pastor theologian. And so uh, Reformed Baptists who want to see an early Reformed Baptist theologian who's faithful to, to our tradition and who falls within its stream would do well to study Benjamin Keach. He's, he's not lockstep uh, with everything all Reformed Baptists believe, but even that's healthy to see someone who's within the broad stream of our tradition who may differ from us here and there and yet is thinking in a way that we can identify with and ministering in a way that we can appreciate. We hope you'll join us in Owensboro, Kentucky for a class on the life and the ministry of Benjamin Keach, September 4th through the 7th.